UK for Friday Evening Paper Crafting Live. Welcome if you're joining me. I am just getting set up here. So let's move a few of these things out of my way. It's interesting going live on YouTube. I can't quite see my setup until we go live. So hence all the fussing about. But I think we're almost there. We do have quite a lot of shadow. It is that time of the night, I'm afraid. So let's pop the light on. I've got the wind, I've got the blinds open in my craft room. And I have got the overhead light on and I'm going to add my little ring light in too, just to see if that will help along with things. Let's have a look. Does that help? I hope it does a little bit. So I will hang about a little minute, see if anyone pops on to join me live. Do let me know if you're watching. I really hope um you've had a good week i can't believe it's friday already i don't know where the weeks are going it's been so busy but it's half term here in the uk i'm just grabbing my lovely cup of coffee that my hubby brought me uh, brought me in I'm just gonna have a little drink it's the may half term holiday here in the uk and uh the children go back to school on monday so it's been quite a busy week the restrictions over covid are easing slightly um, so yeah, so this is the first half term break where we've able, been able to go out and about for quite a long time. So yeah, it's been nice to actually feel a little bit of normality come back in. I feel we're quite lucky. It's been a busy time. I've been to London twice in the last week and I think it's been a couple of years before that since I last went. Okay, so we're going to have a bit of fun paper crafting tonight. I have got a fun fold card to share with you. Um, yeah, so I was inspired by one of the ladies who posted in my Facebook group today, my Ink Stamp Share Your Craft group. She posted a slide and lock card. Now, I've not used, made one of these before, so I did a bit of good old Google searching and I found loads and loads of instructions out there on how to make them. And they are absolutely fairly simple to make. So I thought I would combine it with one of the new suites in the new catalogue. If I can find it in here, I will show you. It's called the Bloom Where You Are Planted. Oh, I think it's on page 80 something, I want to say. Is it? I don't know. 80 something. There it is. Here we go. It is called Bloom Where You Are Planted. And there's a whole suite of products. Isn't it fabulous? Look at all these potted plants. There's even little macrame hanging baskets. There's loads of pots. And uh, okay, so we have the gorgeous designer series papers. And we have got all these stamps that are really fabulous. And then we've got the um, the dies that go alongside the, the stamps. So they cut out what's in the stamps, but they also cut out some of the designer series papers. So you get more. You get more for your money. You get more going on there because you can cut out some of your papers as well as your stamps. Okay, so I've got this fun card and I'm going to show you exactly how to make it. Okay, here we go. Right, so I've got a piece of A4 cardstock cut in half. Not cut in half. I'm going to cut it in half. I'm going to show you exactly how to make it from the start. So this is a thick cardstock. I like to use the basic white thick cardstock for my card bases. It's quite robust. So I'm just going to cut it directly in half at 10.5 centimetres. And we're going to use one half. So you could get two out of a piece. So I'll put that one away for now. And then we're going to score. Just a couple of score lines is all you need for the base. So we're going to score at 7.4 centimetres on one side, like that. So on my trimmer, I'm going to take the scoring blade like that. OK, and then I'm going to turn it all of the way around. So that I've got the bit that I haven't scored at that end. And I'm going to score that side at 7.4 centimetres as well. So basically what you're doing is scoring it here, folding it, scoring it and folding it. So you're creating a gate fold. Now by folding it at 7.4, it means I've got a little gap in the middle, which is exactly what we want for when we put our sliding mechanism in place. We don't want it to be tight because it won't, the piece in the front won't slide off. 
So a nice little gap there. And that's exactly what we want it to look like. So I'm going to move my trimmer out of the way because I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Do let me know if you're with me. Leave me a comment or a thumbs up so that I know you're there. So the other pieces that we need are some more basic white cardstock. And we need four squares. Now you can make these pretty much any size to fit what you're going to stamp on the front, I think. I kind of judged what I wanted. Um, I tried it out and I thought that looks quite nice. So these are eight centimetre squares and I've got four pieces. And this is regular white cardstock. Okay. So I've got four of those and I'm going to score two of those in half. So I will need my scorer once more. All right. So I'm going to bring it in. So any measurement that you do to make your square, you need to know that you, got, you can uh, score it in half. So if they're eight, they're, oh, what did I say? They were eight square. So I'm going to um, score them in half at four centimetres. <laughs> there we go. Just like that. Do let me know if you're watching. Right, here we go. So. There we are. So we have this one and this one. Right, I think that's definitely the end of what we need this trimmer for. Let's see. Okay, so I've got two flat pieces and two with a fold in the middle. And I'm going to start gluing these pieces together. This is the bit that makes the the front part, the mechanism piece is very simple. Okay, so I'm going to be sticking this on here like so. Let's do it that way, like that. So I am going to put glue. Now you can use your tear and tape or your seal plus. I like to use Tombow. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a strong glue because this is needs to be decent to hold it while it moves about. So I'm going to put it down and I'm going to line it up with the top so it's flush like so give it a moment to grab there we go and turn it around because i'm going to do the same on this side here okay you can make any kind of card like this i think so this was also going to go in like that make sure it's all flush pretty much so it will look like that. Now, to finish it off, you would put glue all over here and stick this piece on. And then this piece, this whole piece will be your mechanism for your card. But I actually want to emboss this piece. So I'm going to do my embossing, obviously, before I stick it on. Now, I've got one of our, I think it's, is it new? Is this bricks and mortar a new uh, embossing holder? I think it's a carryover. I do like it. It's new to me, and I thought it would go perfectly well with a plentiful plants suite. So, I have got the plentiful plants stamp set here, and you can see there's so many uh, leaves and plant pots. There's cactuses, lots of foliage in pots, and then these great sentiments. Okay, but. This is not part of the suite, this is one on its own and I wanted to play with this. So I'm gonna use this tonight. So I'm gonna pop this in like that. Make sure it kind of looks straight in there. If I can hear my dog. Right, there we go. I'm gonna pop it through. Oh, I just need to change the cutting pads out for my stamp and cutting and box. I don't need any of those, I just need the grey one. Get my sandwich right. So this is a 3D embossing folder. Lovely jubbly. Here we go. How good is that? The thing I like a lot about this embossing folder is that it, cut, it um, embosses the bricks, but they also have texture. Isn't it cool? Can you see that? Right. So I'm going to make this look like bricks. I'm going to bring in the cinnamon cider ink pad. I'm going to bring in a sponge dauber and do a little bit of sponging on the top and a bit of scrappy paper. 
<laughs> I'm so sorry about the noise. That's my dog letting himself in. He just let himself in the craft room. He manages to actually open the door with a door handle. He's so funny. So I'm going to use a little bit of the ink. I've got some ink in the lid of my ink pad. I'm going to pick it up with my sponge door, but now I'm going to have far too much on there. So I'm going to rub some of it off on here. And I'm going to lightly go over the top so that it, the brickwork picks it up. And it kind of gives it a bit of variation. It looks cool, doesn't it? So you can do it in any colour, can't you? Like grey or browns, whatever colour bricks you like. Any colour painted wall that you had. Okay. So that's that. I really like that. I think that's really effective. Let's move that out of the way. What do you think? Tell me if you like the look of that as a brick wall. All right, so this is the front part then. So this will now stick on here because this is the bit I'm gonna use as my card topper, this mechanism part. So I'm gonna put the glue on. If I can get it to come out. Okay, pop, let's pop, up, pop our brickwork bit on there. Make sure it's flat and that it marries up. So I like about the Tombos, you can kind of move it around a bit. Okay, there we go. We have got it. There, perfect, perfect, perfect. You can have it any way up you like. All right, so the idea is, this is gonna go in the front of our card and secure it. Uh, it's gonna secure it shut and you decorate it. So let me show you how that would work. This, These bits would slide on here like that and get that to go in. And it will go in here like so. How cool is that, the way that sits on there? It's fun, isn't it? So it's called the slide and lock. So I have got some of the designer series paper. Now I have been cutting mine up into paper, not mine. I've been cutting packs up into paper shares. And so I had half a pack and I will show you the, the uh, leftover quarter of a pack and I'll show you these papers. I cut a pot out of here. So you can see how the, the uh, dies cut all the pots out. Um, I also cut a piece out of here because I wanted a leaf. The dies cut these leaves out. Um, there's some more. Aren't they fantastic? And there's a piece of brickwork that I'm using for my card tonight. And what else have we got? More foliage, isn't that beautiful? And then we've got a white or gray brick there. Uh, we've got this kind of textured one, more leaves. I think I'll be buying another pack of this at least. Wood grain is gorgeous. And then the back of that is another wood panel effect. So I'll move that out of the way. Okay, so I've already cut some of the pieces that was the brown brickwork to fit. And I'll tell you exactly how big these designer series paper pieces are, but you will find it over on my blog or in the description bar down below uh, a little bit later on when this is posted. So the designer series paper or pattern paper is 6.9 centimeters by 10.2 centimeters. So 6.9 by 10.2 and you need two of those to go on there. I'm just gonna stick those down. So there we go, with one. So it's lovely to see my friend post these cards in our group today. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna give that a go. 
It looks so, so much fun. If you want to see what she's made or if you'd like to join my Facebook group, it's called Ink Stamp Share Your Craft. Just need to pop over to Facebook and request. Just make sure that you answer the questions um, to join. And then you read the pinned posts. But yeah, we'd love to have you sharing all your creativity over there too. All right, so we've got lots of brickwork going on. So this is going to fit on here like this. Cool, isn't it? So cool. Stick that up there. It's actually sliding down a bit. I could have made it a little bit tighter. Oh no, it's fine. It's good. Right then, let's do it. I'm going to decorate this. So I've used the dies mostly for this one. I will show you the dies that go alongside the stamp set. So if you get the stamp set and the dies together as a bundle, you save 10% in my online shop. That is always a winner isn't it saving money look at all these now I remember when I was growing up in the 1970s that's showing my age that my mum would have these macrame uh, hangers in the kitchen window with lots of plants inside each one so they would be always hanging up there and just as quite nostalgic for me and then you've got all these other pl plants and succulents and lots of dyes and plant pots so you can cut them all out so from the designer series paper I have cut a plant pot. You could stamp it because it's in the stamps, but I was thought this is a really quick way. So I have cut out one of those. I have cut out one of the big leaves. And I've also cut out using Sahara sand. I have cut out the lovely macrame hanging basket. So I'm going to use that. Um, and then we're going to do a little bit of stamping as well. So I think what I'll do to start with is I'll put this together. So I need a little bit of glue going on here. So what have you got planned for the weekend? I hope you have a nice one planned. I'm just so used to being able to plan it or go anywhere the weekend. I haven't made any really. Um, it did start to rain here today as well. So <laughs> it just depends. We've had some beautiful weather recently, which made quite a change. Um, but it's got a bit wet, so we shall see. So I'm going to stick this here behind there and then just move it around where you want it to go. Make sure it's stuck right. There we go. So we've got our plant pot, which is now stuck to me. That's always good. <laughs> and then I'm going to put my plant foliage behind it. So I'm going to stick that on the back. Okay, so that's on there. And I'm going to do a little bit of stamping. God, I'm all gluey now. I managed to get that all over me. I'm such a mucky stamper sometimes. Okay, so I've got a piece of scrap paper. You can see that I've already been using this one. And I've got one of the stamps from the stamp set. And I have chosen one of the coordinating colours. Um, we have got Just Jade, that's one of our coordinating colours in the designer series papers. So I thought, I know that will work because they've used it in the papers. That's always a way to work out. Um, is just look at the papers on the back of the designer series papers because it will tell you what's in the colour collection that works really well with them. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this lovely long frondy plant. Lovely, and I'm going to cut that one out with the dies. So let's have a look. We have got this lovely one here. See these emboss the cactus as well. So I think that would look really good. Grab a tiny bit of washi tape to keep it in place, I think, while I cut it out. There we are, just stick it down. And pop this through my stamping cutting and boss machine which is just right next to me you just hear a bit of a clicky noise that's quite normal
<laughs> that stayed on there. And there's the piece. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this behind as well, just to make it look like it's coming out of the top in the back of the plant pot there. Is that you, Helen? Thanks for joining me, my lovely. I don't have my laptop on. Um, it seems to be a bit glitchy lately with trying to watch the comments as they come in on my laptop. I can't quite work out something has changed with... Uh, streaming live on YouTube and I'm not quite sure. Hello, lovely of you to join me. I'm making a hanging basket. Do you like it? <laughs> it's fun and we're going to do this fun slide and slide and lock card. So this is going to fit on here. Now I had a thought and I got out some of the baker's twine. No, this is called the linen thread. Helen, do you remember growing up, we would have hanging baskets in the window? <laughs> Macrame ones. So I got some of the linen thread, which I thought would go well with the Sahara sand. And I'm going to pop it through somehow. Through here. I don't know if I should. Let's have a look. It'd be great to make knots with this, wouldn't it? There's probably a way. <laughs> a bit too fiddly for me. So, we'll have... Yes. I think this would do. Like that. Okay. I'm literally going to cut it off though. Very short. So I've just got this little knot at the top, like that. And that then is going to go on here. Now I think I'm going to use some Stampin' Up, Stampin' Dimensionals. I've made a bit of a mess, but they're right here. Here we go. And I'm going to raise it up a little bit, just to give it a bit of interest, I think. Now I do love these. And you can get the mini ones too, so you don't actually have to cut them up. Right. Here we go. Let's take the backs off. And then we'll see how well this fits together. So let's pop that in. Okay, that is on. I could do. Oh no, I don't know if it'll go up anymore anyway because it's meeting the top already. Right. Okay. So this is going to go on here. How cool is that? So you don't want it too tight. You need it to be able to sit up, but you also want it loose enough so that the recipient can slide the enclosure part off it and open it up. So I think we just need a sentiment and we should be done. <laughs> I'm a bit, I don't know, gammy handed, I think is the word today. It's Friday after all. It's been a long week. Right, there we go. So I've got a piece of scrap wisp of white. I've got some garden green, which is another green that's in this designer series paper. And I have picked out one of the sentiments from the stamp set. I've got to a dear friend. Oh, I'm going to just stamp it down and cut it out. Oh, that stamps really nicely. I like that. I'm going to grab my trimmer to make sure I do a straight job of it. Because I'm probably one of the, those people who can uh, cut, in, cut, cut everything in a wonky line. So you can definitely use your scissors for little jobs like this if you're brave. Let's take a bit more off of there. Hardly any, I don't think. 
Here we go. We're going to pop that on. That does not look straight to me. <laughs> See, I told you, didn't I? I'm the one of those people who can't cut in a straight line. Let's have my scissors. See, I think it's a better job without the trimmer now. <laughs> All right, I'm going to pop this on. I'm just going to pop it across here, I think. To so a dear friend. Okay, so I'm going to use a dimensional because I popped the plant, hanging plant pot up on a sticky foam pad. So to make the height difference the same here, I need to do that. So let's pop one of those on there. But then on the other end, where it's sticking down, I'll need a little bit of glue on that end. There we are. So to a dear friend, let's take it off so we're not sticking it to the card base. There we go. How cool is that? To a dear friend, right? And then we can pop it on. You can see what it looks like. Actually, before we pop it on, we should stamp inside. What other stamps have we got in this stamp set? We have got... We've got a little note with the biggest thanks. You were there and I'm very grateful. Thank you and you touched my heart. I love you. I think a little note with the biggest thanks would be great. It's also got so very much. So you could have thanks so very much. Grab a block. There we are. It's the first time I've used this stamp. Let's hope it stamps well. I'll just try it out. Perfect. So nice. Pop it on the inside. A little note with the biggest thanks. That's nice, isn't it? Okay, and then I think we need a little bit of foliage in there. So let's grab that big green one. It'll come off. We'll do that in the same colour. It's got some nice variation on those leaves. You see that? That's so nice, isn't it? So we've got that one. Let's take that one off. I'll give it a clean in a second. And I've hardly played with these. Literally, this is the first time I've opened this stamp set. Uh, today. So and then I'm going to use that the other green that we got out, just jade. Just to oh that's nice. There we go. That should finish it off. Okay. Let's move it. So we've got a little note with the biggest thanks with all that foliage inside um, to a dear friend. I really like this card. It's fun. I like this mechanism and these pretty macrame baskets and the, and the leaves that come out from the designer series paper. I hope you've enjoyed crafting me, with me this evening or just watching me live. I hope you like it and I hope you love this Plentiful Plants. It's called the Bloom when you, Where You Are Planted Sweet. 
Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, do subscribe. Click that little bell down below for notification of future videos. I'm live every Friday. Thanks, Helen. I'm live every Friday here at seven o'clock. And on Tuesday over on Facebook at 11 o'clock in the morning, GMT or BST for my Facebook Coffee and Cards live. Um, and I'd love for you to join me. You can find everything I've used on my in my shop at katebolt.stampinup.net. Do use the host code when you check out for a little thank you gift from me at the end of the month. And thank you for joining me. Do hop over to my blog. You'll find all the instructions and the dimensions over on my website at inkstampshare.ink. And leave me a comment. I'd love to know if you liked it. Take care. Have a fantastic weekend. And thank you for joining me. Bye.